Words cannot describe the first moment we approached Nahani National Park. Sitting aboard a float plane, Ted Simpson, owner of Simpson Air, flew us up and over this massive, untouched park on one of his popular five-hour tours. We flew by jagged mountain peaks, numerous canyons, massive rivers, hot springs, and waterfalls. It was truly magical. And had the weather been more cooperative, we could have gone even deeper. We did land though, right next to Angel Falls, which is twice the height of Niagara Falls. Here we met Parks Canada staff who brought us on a short hike to see the falls from different angles and to capture them with our drone. For those with more time, the trail also leads down towards the bottom portion of the river where you can witness the falls from below absolutely massive. The park encompasses 30,000 square kilometers and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In fact, it's the first UNESCO World Heritage Site, which is pretty incredible considering there are now over 1,000 of them all across the world. There are no roads for hundreds of miles and the only way to come in is via a multi-week canoeing expedition or a flight seeing tour, such as the one we were on. This is part of what makes Nahani National Park so special. It's virtually undisturbed. It only receives around a thousand visitors per year, which is less than what Banff National Park gets in a single day. You have to really want to see Nahani to make it there. You need to crave adventure. A five hour flight seeing tour isn't exactly cheap and a three week canoe trip is even more. Then there's the cost and time of getting to Fort Simpson in the first place. You have to either drive all the way to the Northwest Territories which includes hundreds of kilometers of dirt roads, or fly with a small carrier such as First Air. But as I mentioned, that's what keeps Nahani so wild and pure. It's what keeps the area so mystical in a sense, an isolated place such as Antarctica or the North Pole. Yet, experiencing the park is far from impossible. With enough will and adventure, and some money to back it up, you too can experience Nahani National Park with your own eyes, a true Canadian wilderness icon.